beautiful Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful that scammers are currently about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not offer personal readings for money. I don't have time. My schedule does not allow for personal readings at the moment, only for the competition. And it's free to enter, free to um, win and free to receive that reading, just so you're aware. Um, also, I do not have WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I do not take donations. I also do not uh, have a personal assistant and I don't do meet and greet, okay? So if anyone offers you any of those things or tries to take any of your wonderful money, um, know that it is a scam. Let's get straight to your singles reading, my beautiful Scorpio. Also, I will be running another competition uh, for one lucky subscriber to win a free personal reading. Um, and I will choose the winner on the 25th of May. Um, so uh, I'll let you know how to win that um, throughout the reading as some people are here just for the messages only and some people are here for both. So let's get to your overall energy for the month of May. We have the chariot card. We have the judgment card. We have the magician card and we have the high, um, we have the hierophant as well. We got similar energy as a uh, Taurus, just so you're aware. So you may have Taurus placements uh, somewhere, but this is the, your protagonist energy, Scorpio. You're moving forward. I feel like you've been stuck in a past energy for a while, or you've been feeling stuck in a rut with regards to love for a long time. Um, and I also feel like there's an energy of cynicism here, almost feeling like you're losing hope uh, in terms of love and even losing direction. Um, there's an energy here, uh, Scorpio, um, it's not going to connect everybody, but there's just an energy here of losing uh, oneself. Uh, in terms of identity. Now, this may be um, something that you've encountered because of a past relationship. It may have really rocked your foundation, brought you to your knees, and you've been healing from this relationship for quite some time. It's almost like you trying to reconnect to what it is that you want when it comes to love, but also reconnecting to your sense of self. Because Scorpio, you know, I know a lot of signs we all uh, love truly, madly and deeply, but um, you sort of merge with the other person in terms of your psyche as well. And I feel sometimes uh, you tend to lose yourself uh, when it comes to love uh, because you give so much of yourself. Um, that sometimes when you come out of the love, uh, maybe when it, if it's gone uh, in a, a direction that you did not want it to go, it's a very painful direction. You may have ended a relationship or a cycle with someone in the past. It almost has you standing there feeling like a, a shell, an empty shell, like wondering, who am I? What happened there? Um, how am I going to um, cope with this moving forward? You're stronger and more resilient than you ever know. Deep down, you know that. But at the time, it's difficult. You do rise like a phoenix from the ashes. I know that's a cliche, but you do have that power and that strength in that rebirth energy. The chariot is, you know, a Cancerian energy. It is about moving your emotions forward, overcoming any obstacles, anything you feel has been holding you back in terms of love. Um, I feel like you're moving through that. This is self-assurance to overcome any of those challenges, okay? And I feel like you've had quite a few challenges when it comes to love. This is victory though, okay? This is almost like gaining your mojo back after a period of feeling like um, you were either not enough or you felt like you'd lost your mojo, um, your drive to find love there because there is a there's a feeling here of losing hope or cynicism, okay, with regards to this card. But I feel like you're looking for something very loyal. You're looking for a committed relationship, someone who goes um, the distance with you but meets you halfway, someone that you feel, um, you know, brings, raises you up as much as you raise them up. That's what, and that you don't lose yourself, your identity in it. I feel like you've learned some lessons there as well. But the chariot is your energy for the month of May moving forward, okay? Um, and the judgment card in the end, uh, this is 
um, in the antagonist position. Now, there could be the ghost of a, a lover in the past that sometimes haunts you, or you feel like um, it hangs over you in terms of moving forward, in terms of love. Now, you may not want to be with that person ever again, okay? But the damage that it done was irreparable. There's also something here where you may have felt like you made an error of judgment in trusting this person with your wonderful heart. And there's something about this person that made you feel uh, weaker than uh, you normally would be with a person, okay? So you may be still trying to process that, that information and those emotions to gain clarity. You're also, this is the, the card of uh, second chances as well. And you may have given this person more than their fair share of second chances, um, but I feel like you're putting something to bed. Okay, I feel like you're uh, m basically making a final decision on something, weighing up your options. I definitely feel like someone from your past coming on in to talk. Um, I will clarify this energy for you. Um, I don't wanna just pull something out of the hat that's not there. Uh, the judgment card though is about rebirth. Can we um, save this? Should we move forward and um, renew this energy between us? The judgment, as I said, second chances, but I feel like there's a different version of you now. You're um, in a new phase of life where you are, um, you know what works for you, what doesn't. I feel like you know what drains your energy as well. Can you see that skeleton kind of figure, you know, energy vampires? There was someone who denied their feelings um, in a relationship and feared giving their true love to the connection fully, Scorpio. I feel like that has really damaged the way that you um, invest in relationships because you go all on in deep. And I feel like whatever has happened in the past, it's almost like you're happy to dip your toe in now a little bit, but you're reserved. There's just this energy I'm getting from this card, a little bit of reservation. So, um, but I feel like you've done a lot of... Um, shadow work there because that moon card that moon there in the distance is highlighting all the obstacles i feel like you're holding up your end of the bargain and really sort of processing those emotions and um because you're not afraid to delve deep okay now this is the antagonist sorry this is the unified position okay we got the hierophant there so you're thinking about a higher level of commitment um but also a higher level commitment with yourself Okay, you may be looking for um, a relationship that is kind of traditional, want to settle down, maybe even go to marriage, uh, because this is a marriage card there. Uh, you may be looking for the one, but I feel like you've learnt a lot, okay? Now, I feel like um, there's a lot of um, knowledge that came to the surface here, perhaps secret knowledge that you found out about a situation. Uh, it's allowing you to learn, okay? Um, there's no such thing as failure especially when it comes to love. We're all just, you know, um, trying to make our way. None of us come with a roadmap of how to do life or how to do love here. And I feel like um, you, you're doing a lot of learning, but I, I feel like there's been a lot of painful learning going on here with you, Scorpio. Um, but I feel like you now know what you don't want and you know what you do want, okay? And um, I also feel like you do things differently, Scorpio. You may meet people who are quite rigid um, you know, and it's almost like you bring them out of their shell and um, you allow them. It's almost like by you being your wonderful, unique self, you, um, you know, you buck trends. You're not a people pleaser. You're independent. You're non-conformist. You live life on your own terms. And I feel like you often, um, people often look at you like, you know, you're intense and, you know, passionate. You you give them permission to explore the deeper side of love and life. And sometimes that scares people. That's an intensity, okay? Um, sorry, I just got an itchy shoulder there. Um, there's an energy here of you. Um, it's almost like whatever life has taught you, sometimes it, you've gravitated towards people who try to put you inside a box, contain your energy, tell you that you're too intense, tell you that, you know, you need to lighten up about things. Scorpio, you need to be your wonderful self, okay? Um, you know, you will meet the right person for you. And I feel like you're thinking about higher level of commitment, uh, but meeting of minds, okay? There's, I feel like you're trying to manifest um, somebody new um, after a period of giving someone a lot of second chances. Uh, the Magician card is about manifestation. Be careful what you're wishing for or what you're turning your mind to because those visions, they turn to reality, okay? The Magician is about getting your confidence back focusing um, on getting your mojo back in the game, you know, and, and I feel like um, you're you're ready and willing to take action, but you may be looking at um, 
whether you've got self-doubt in some areas and also looking at how you can move forward. You know, it may have been difficult to find love before and now we're in a pandemic, you may find it's even more difficult or that's what you think. But when fate intervenes, you, when you're meant to meet the right person, it doesn't matter what's happening in the world, okay? When you're meant to re meet the right person, um, you meet the right person. Now, I don't know why they're giving me this, but they're giving me, uh, they're giving me, um, this may connect to somebody out there, so I'm just going to give you what they're giving me. They're giving me um, uh, an energy. It's from the past. It's from the uh, World War II. Um, so this may connect to uh, your grandparents. If this sounds like your, your story, I, I'm not sure. It's not going to resonate for everyone, that's for sure. But they're giving me an energy here of uh, World War II, um, someone having survived uh, World War II and uh, coming to a, a, another country and meeting someone in a gallery, in an art gallery, discussing a painting. And um, them all that, that they find that that person also escaped uh, World War II and have found themselves in a totally different country discussing a, a, a topic that binds them both, uh, an event that binds them both, and they're discussing a painting. And they ended up having a relationship and got married, okay? So uh, if that connects to you, there's something in this message for you that's not going to connect to everyone. Of course that's not going to connect to everyone. Um, so uh, please don't think it's not your reading if it does not connect to you. But they're trying to highlight, uh, number one, if it connects to you, then there's something in this message for you. If it does not connect to you, they're trying to highlight that even um, due to some of the most difficult circumstances that is presented in the world, uh, love still finds a way, okay? So they just want to give you that. Uh, the Magician, though, is about um, manifestation. You're very connected to the universe, so thoughts become things. Very, very important, okay? You may have felt powerless in the past because um, your confidence was dented by another person or a situation, or you felt like there was no love coming towards you. Um, that's all about to change, uh, especially since we have this. I feel also that you are coming out of your comfort zone to affect change. Now let's go to um, the Celtic Cross uh, to uh, see what's happening there for you. Um, let's see what's going on there. Um, so they're giving me a song all of a sudden. Um, it's Hey Jude. Hey Jude. Uh, so either you just listen to that song on the radio just now. Um, hey Jude. By the, I think it's... I think it's the Beatles, um, or it could have been just John Lennon on, on, on his own. Hey Jude, I'm not sure, so please take it as it resonates. Um, hey Jude, don't let me down. Um, take a sad song and make it better. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So um, please take it as it resonates. Uh, it may resonate in terms of your circumstance, but if you just heard it on the radio or you it's been swirling around in your head recently a lot, then there's definitely something in this message for you. Now, what is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Scorpio? Oh my gosh, definitely something uh, connecting you to uh, the, the Taurus read, just to let you know. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm just gonna, they've just, I just need to go and check the camera because it's flashing at me, so I won't be a second, one moment please. Just want to make sure it's recording. Yep, still going. I don't know what that's about. The battery's full. Um, so, the present moment, love abounds. Okay, Taurus got the same energy. This is about imminent meeting of a soulmate. Also, they're just giving me a smell of gas, okay? So please be mindful. Uh, if you're cooking and you've left the stove on or something like that, please go check your gas. They're just giving me a, a smell of gas there, okay? Um, I'm electric, so uh, that's that's not to do with me. Um, so, uh, yeah, please check that out, okay? It smells very much like the gas from your stove. So uh, just go and have a quick check. Anyway, uh, pause me, and, and or maybe you felt like you left the gas on just before this reading, so there's something there for you. Um, but love abounds. This is the Ace of Cups, okay? Uh, this is a wonderful new deck that I've just got there. And it's called The Psychic Heart Tarot um, by John Holland. Um, this is your Ace of Cups. This is new love coming on in. This is a love that will go the test of time. Um, a very deep, wonderful, uh, refreshing, sensual relationship. Um, someone who meets you halfway in terms of love. Could also be um, someone with another water um, element in their chart. Perhaps Pisces, Cancer, maybe even another Scorpio energy. We will clarify that. Um, 
but I feel like uh, this is a deep knowing as well, okay? They're really highlighting um, this eye in the center, and this is about what you think about, you know, what you can see in your mind's eye, especially with the manifestation uh, magician right there. They're indicating what you think about, you bring about, okay? So be mindful. If you're thinking about the woulda, coulda, shoulda conversations with someone in the past, you're actually gonna manifest that person back into your life or someone of a similar frequency. So just please be mindful about what you think about. Um, but love abounds. This indicates a love that is rising up from the depths of emotion, um, a relationship that goes uh, towards a higher level of commitment, you know, moving in together, um, engagement, marriage, if that's what you're hoping for there, especially since we've got the Hierophant there, um, there is a, a, the potential here for you to manifest a relationship that uh, goes towards marriage, if that's what you're hoping for, Scorpio. Love abounds indicates um, this is fate intervening and ace of cups is a uh, divine intervention by the the universe to bring you the right person that is meant for you okay so beautiful energy here also um this is um the, the eyes over the heart they're just giving me the eyes over the heart so uh, what does your heart want you may be asking these questions what is it you want in a person okay um because i feel like someone has crossed things off their list so many times and put something um, I know that, and it sounds like such a cliche that someone who's honest is right at the top of the list for a Scorpio, but I feel like someone has written at the top of their list, um, I just want them to make me laugh, they have to be funny, someone's written on the top of the list, a uh, sense of humor, okay, so if that's, if that's you, you've actually written the list, um, uh, Again, be mindful what you're thinking about and you've got on that list because thoughts become things, okay? Um, now, uh, but you're definitely um, manifesting that new love. This is your present moment, okay? Uh, now, um, what is below you? Sorry, they're just giving me... Okay, sorry. I just put it in the wrong position. They wanted that there. Okay, that's, yeah. Um, this is the challenge position. Okay, uh, sorry, when I'm looking at the car, uh, when I'm channeling, I'm looking in the water. So um, I wasn't aware that I put the cards in the wrong position. Um, so what is the challenge here? Sadness and isolation. Uh, now I'm going to pull a card on this. Um, there's an energy here of um, something in the past uh, damaging your present moment. Now you may be over someone in the past but there is repercussions okay so um this is the three of swords energy so uh, i feel like you're doing a lot of healing and scorpio it takes you a long time to heal um but there's a thing here that i'm getting which is as soon as you bounce back someone pops up that's the energy that i'm getting okay um it's almost like someone maybe comes on in to uh, apologize or reach out to you they may never really apologize but they, there's just this energy of someone popping up okay um, because I'm getting the double edge of this this card so I'm just going to quickly pull a card on that see what's going on there this is the challenge it's almost someone it's almost like someone never allows your wounds to completely heal because they may be always breadcrumbing you or coming on in to talk you may ignore them um, but still they're reminding you of their presence can I pull? thank you so much we got the two of swords in the reverse okay someone um, who leaves you confused someone who you feel like you always have to compromise thank you so much spirit guides for angels can you please guide my beautiful thank you so much uh, also i'm using another new deck which is the egyptian tarot um i mean i've been um thank you so much um, i've been um gravitating towards um ancient egypt since i was a child so um you know uh, I had to wait till the moment was right to get this deck and I had a huge calling for it, okay, um, recently. So we have the Queen of Swords here. This is someone that um, perhaps um, sharp energy made you uh, feel like you had to go into a self-sufficient kind of energy. Someone that you want, you just want the truth from, um, who may not have given you the truth. But I feel like there's an energy of being quite cold towards this person sometimes. Um, but I feel like you're doing... Uh, you may not be talking to this person. They come on in and, and sort of talk to you and you listen to what they got to say, but I feel like there's a sharp edge to this person. It's almost like you don't trust this person at all. Um, and um, I feel like you always, it's almost like whenever this person comes on in or this it feels like this person who hurt you, they, they keep coming back in occasionally. It's almost like you feel like this person's got a strategy or a plan. You're always asking what's their motive? Why are they doing this? What, what are they getting out of this that they just come on in and then disappear 
I feel like this person always wants to talk, but there's no action, okay? I feel like there's, uh, I'll clarify it with the cards, but I feel like this person needs an ego rub in life um, by a lot of people. Uh, we got the Knight of Swords in the reverse, yeah. They tend to not change their actions here. This person tends to be a little bit cruel with their words, uh, deliberately so, in order to get a reaction from you, Scorpio, um, because you're very good at sort of distancing yourself and um, sort of rising above anything that they've got to say because you can see that they're projecting. You understand the human psyche on a dip different level. Um, you see the undercurrent, but there's something here about you kind of um, knowing that uh, they're always, it's almost like you, you're going to do battle with this person verbally, okay? Um, and we got the Six of Swords here. You're trying to escape this energy. You're trying to move forward. Um, it's a necessary transition that you move away from this energy, uh, moving away from any untro you know, troubled waters into something that is calmer. Uh, this is also spirit uh, protecting you. As you can see, there's a boat there in the center. Um, and you can see all those swords, they're actually protection. Spirit is guiding you through those troubled waters onto something more emotionally fulfilling. But it's difficult when someone keeps popping on in once you, you start to bounce back. It's almost as if they know energetically that uh, they're losing their hold over you. And not that they ever had a hold on you, but if anyone else treated you in the same way, Scorpio, you would never ever give them the time of day ever again. But this person got in deep to your feelings, okay? They got to your heart. And you don't let anyone, um, you don't just let anyone in, okay? So um, I feel this is a, a, a problem sometimes. It puts you in your head thinking about this person. Now, what is below you? What is carrying you through? This is the six of pentacles, giving and receiving. Um, so this is, you want someone to meet you halfway. You give a lot to connection, Scorpio. And deep down, you're just looking for someone who meets you at that midway point that gives as much as you give, that receives as much as you receive. So I feel very much like um, you are uh, hoping the universe brings you on in a miracle. The Six of Pentacles is often the universe uh, intervening to bring good fortune, good karma, okay? It's about this time receiving the energy because you've given a lot. So this is about uh, deep down what's carrying you through. You feel deep down that um, the universe you know, is going to deliver someone who um, will give a reciprocal kind of energy when it comes to relationships. Because it's almost like, surely there's got to be someone for you, okay? And I there definitely is. But, but I feel like sometimes there's this cynicism or this uh, giving up, this loss of hope when it comes to love because love has taught you pain, okay? Love has taught you sadness. Love has taught you that even when you're in a relationship with someone, you can feel so alone, okay? It's because it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't the right person for you, but there were lessons to be learned in that moment. Difficult lessons, unfortunately, um, but that is the case. Um, thank you. So, oh, we got a little knock on my um, sort of um, window frame there. Uh, even though um, I'm like stories high, there's no one there. Um, uh, let me see what is below, uh, which, what is behind you. Heart chakra. You opened your heart to this person. You got vulnerable, okay? This person got in. And as a result, they may have blocked, um, when the pain hit, uh, they may have blocked this energy. Now I'm gonna pull a card on that energy also. Um, uh, we also have um, Believe and Succeed. It's launched you into your career um, and you know trying to uh, move forward in uh, whatever career path that you uh, have chosen for yourself. Also, we've got Choose Your Battles. Okay, uh, it's almost like that wounded warrior kind of energy. You stood up to this person and, and the, the way that they talked to you. Um, and it, I feel like, Scorpio, and I don't shoot the messenger when I say this, I feel like it was kind of thrilling sometimes. It was that push-pull kind of energy, like a moth to a flame kind of energy, but you didn't expect to get burnt. You expected that, you know, um, it's almost like you went in there and seeing some red flags and thinking that, you know, they wouldn't get as deep as they got, and they did. Uh, let me just clarify this heart chakra for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. This is in the recent past position, just to let you know. Thank you so much. How would you like to receive? Thank you. Uh, we got the Five of Swords in the reverse, okay? So this is, uh, you know, someone keeps coming on in. They feel they want peace. They, they keep asking you to, you know, shall we meet up? Or um, they, in some way, um, it's almost like this person causes fights on purpose. 
okay there's something here you either caught this person um, not giving to the connection or doing something that is sabotaging to the connection this person um, verbally unkind okay and I just feel like you could see the red flags um, but because there was love you um, hoped that uh, you were wrong I feel like you wanted to give this person the benefit of the doubt because I feel like this person is deep down very wounded okay uh, I don't really want to talk about the past but it's popping up there because we got that second chances card there but uh, there's new coming in on in the future just so you're aware and we got the the Hierophant in reverse this is someone um, that re almost like pushed you away um, because they were not ready or did not want to have a relationship at that time. They did not want to settle down. Uh, it's almost like this person, they may have even said, I don't see a future with you. And then in moments saying, you know, um, I told my mother or I told my father or I told my friends that I've met someone that I want to settle down and get married to. And it was almost like they were sussing you out to see how you felt about the connection. And there's something very damaged about the way that this person talks about high level commitment but um i feel like this person how would you like to receive thank you so much um yeah not interested yeah always waiting always waiting now i'm just getting a slight energy as well that this person that you were dealing with may have had some sort of um now i'm not medically trained to talk about this but i am just trying to express express the energy uh bipolar it's like all one moment they're in and they're discussing a future with you and the next minute they're saying I don't see a future with us okay it's really damaging okay so I feel like your heart was pushed and pulled in many different directions and I feel like it's um, perhaps even made you feel hesitant about um, moving into a, a love cycle with someone new because there's an energy here of um, love has not taught you that it's long term that's the energy that I'm getting even though you still want to believe okay um, you are meeting a you will be meeting somebody new that goes the distance just to let you know um, choose your battles that uh, there's an energy here of you uh, protecting yourself okay if you choose your battles and protect yourself against everybody Scorpio then unfortunately you will never let love in but I mean you got to use your intuition with that one not everybody is going to do the same for you okay to you okay so I feel like yes be guarded against a person who hurt and wounded your beautiful heart but um, when love presents itself and it will um, then just be mindful uh, if you've got that shield up um, that you know you gotta let love in sometime okay also believe and succeed this is the six of wands there now as I said I get an energy here of recognition in your work really forging ahead um, in terms of wanting to achieve something so you may have um, decided rather than open your heart anymore you've invested your heart in your career um, I feel believe and succeed it's almost like take love out of the question and really focus on uh, your um, passion for life and for a career success okay um, but I feel also you're trying to remain hopeful that if you just believe in love then maybe um, there will be um, love that is a special kind of love that kind of meets your version of love as if you know what I mean there um, thank you so much spirit guys going angels can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio what do they need to know regarding um, the potential thank you so much spirit guides going angels okay uh, I don't know I'm getting a song um, I don't know what it is uh, but the only words I'm hearing are hi ho silver hi ho silver okay uh, mm, I don't know how to hi ho silver <laughs> I don't really know how to transmute that energy but I feel like it's I feel like it's a moving on energy it's a it feels very much like a victory kind of energy and the chariot is a victory it's about preparing yourself to move forward hi ho silver anyway I'll have to look up the the song and see if I can find it I've never heard of it so I'm gonna have to really dig deep on the internet for that um, but if you know what it is or you heard that song recently uh, then please drop it in the comments box below um, and share with the collective there um, I'm gonna move forward because I'm not sure what that means um, so what is your potential share the love similar cards to my beautiful uh, Taurus there um, so you may have placements uh, but share the love is about celebration it's the three of cups as you can see that heart is wounded there is a crack on it but it is still being offered despite 
um, being wounded in love there. So I feel like you're about to meet somebody that really opens you up to believing in love again, okay? Um, also, I feel like this person you're about to meet has a similar journey um, as you, Scorpio, and has been wounded in love, has learned similar lessons uh, about love that you have and therefore will not take your love for granted okay again I'm getting strong energy that this person um, they're just saying bullseye 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 now either you're an archer or you play darts or something um, bullseye I feel like or maybe it could be that you know this is right on target um, in terms of love, uh, you know, Cupid's going to be like bullseye, hit the mark this time. Um, you know, this is the one kind of energy. Um, so please take it as it resonates. Um, maybe you've just, maybe you've just read the word bullseye or something has popped up that said bullseye. So please take it as it resonates. There it could be a, a candy or something. I'm not sure, but they're just saying bullseye. Um, also we've got blossom and we've got flow. Okay, so this is the potential. This is what is above you, what is to come. Um, share the love, that three of cups, which is celebration. We've also got blossom, which is a sun card. So there is a, an, an enlightenment, an awakening here. Your relationships will blossom and you will shine your inner light. Okay, there's definitely an energy here of a successful union. The power is within you. This is you feeling that warmth of love again. And I feel like it's an auspicious time for you. Lots of positivity and joy in terms of love. If there was darkness in love for you, uh, it's a time to leave that all behind. Um, sorry, they just corrected me and they're right. Um, so um, number 20 is the judgment card. Okay, um, this is a new deck, so I'm just getting to grips with this, but they just corrected me, so they're right. Thank you so much. I'm truly really grateful. Um, the, the judgment card. So the judgment card here is, again, still similar energy about, because um, I'm transmuting what they're saying, um, about an awakening. Uh, but also, um, this is about uh, choosing your path according to uh, your light there. It is your life's purpose um, that you are seeing your inner power. And you're also seeing things where there was confusion, okay? Um, but it is about harnessing your inner power and realizing where you put that power, that love, that intention, um, who you want it to be with, okay? Because this is the card of second chances. So again, I'm going to pull another card on that. There is a potential to heal. A relationship with someone in the past if you want to I'm not gonna say that you cannot of course um, it's totally your call we all have free will and you know your circumstances better than any um, but I feel like whatever you decide um, to put your intention towards that is what you heal and what you nurture okay so um, the choice is yours there's some big choices coming ahead and we got another major arcana card here this is the wheel of fortune stepping on in so I feel like yes there is an opportune moment for you to meet somebody uh, new with this wheel of fortune uh, being in the flow of life uh, is that wheel of fortune energy sometimes you're up sometimes you're down but this is an energy of potential which is um, you know um, meeting someone by chance okay I feel like someone is going to in the future uh, in the near future as well uh, pop into your world that gives you someone to really um, bond with connect with this is new love coming on in and I feel like um, you have to come out of your comfort zone though okay um, anything that's holding you back I feel like you're you're letting that go and I feel like this is a time for transition a lucky break in love um, I feel like it'll turn out just perfectly the love that you've always desired okay um, but there is a there is a choice here because we've got that uh, secondary energy which is um, someone returning let's quickly cl clarify that judgment card thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio what do they need to know we got the Wheel of Fortune again, and we have the Two of Swords in the reverse, okay? So this is huge clarity here, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is has come on in to basically, basically indicate, you know, it is your, it, it is your, um, your choice. There can be a turn of events uh, that heals this relationship with someone in the past, but also, um, you know, it's, it's a risk, it's a gamble. You know, uh, sometimes you're up with this person, sometimes you're down. Uh, so it's your choice. It's about coming out of your comfort zone and taking the risk should you want to. Um, but you, you both have to have a conversation, okay? Because the swords indicate, um, you know, in the upright there, it indicates some sort of mental conflict, confusion. Um, and in the reverse there, it's about seeing things clearly, having to have a conversation there. You know, um, I'm going to go again. 
because we got that Wheel of Fortune energy. Uh, they're indicating that there is the potential to meet somebody new as well. So um, you've got double Wheel of Fortune energy. So definitely someone coming on in. Ace of Pentacles. Aces bring new, okay? So there is potential here for um, you to have a solid union, someone who invests in your future. This is the Ace of Pentacles there. Divinely guided, okay? But it is, it, it's dependent on your choice because um, the judgment card is about weighing up your options. And whichever way you choose, um, you know, if you choose to be with the person from the past, they will invest solidly in a relationship with you, uh, but it may take a little bit more time, okay? Um, but also, if you do not wish to have that person know that there is new coming on in, uh, this person may have Earth in their chart as well as uh, water, so they could have some Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart. I'm just gonna, can you please clarify the intentions of the person from the past? We have the Emperor in the reverse. And we also have the King of Wands in the reverse, okay? Both cards indicate someone who is not ready for a, a, a long-term commitment at this time, okay? The Emperor in reverse, this person may be younger than you, Scorpio. Uh, a bit of immature energy there. This person is going through some changes, um, perhaps with their business as well. I feel like uh, there may be some losses ex ex being explored by this person at this present moment in time. And we have the um, King of Pentacles, Sorry, the King of Wands there in the reverse. Now, this person often uses intimacy. Um, well, they use they use sex instead of intimacy. Uh, intimacy is not something that they're comfortable with. Um, they may put may push you away because you got deep um, within this person's psyche and you you felt this person without words. Okay, that made them feel quite uncomfortable. Uh, they kind of liked it, but also felt uncomfortable. That's what I'm getting here. But both cards, please look them up, meanings of the cards, both suggest that this person, uh, they want to be there for you, but they're not ready at this time. I'm just going to see why they're not ready at this time. And then I'm going to move forward to the new. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Why is this person from the past not able to step up to a high-level commitment at this time? Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know before we move forward? Thank you so much. Uh, they just give me the name Varney. Varney. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go one more. Um, Varney. V I guess they haven't spelled it for me. So if your surname is Varney, um, then um, there's something in this message for you. Varney. Um, Again, it could be a place, it could be your, your nickname. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not gonna resonate for everyone. If it does not resonate for you, it does not mean, um, it, does, it doesn't mean that it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading. Uh, we got the Knight of Wands. This person is in high sexual energy. This person finds you very sexually attractive. They're still, uh, they wanna, they want they don't wanna settle down yet. Okay, they wanna, um, they're in an energy of transience. So, uh, you know, here today, gone tomorrow, still that sort of energy where they're not wanting to settle down. They want to sow their oats, as it were. And we've also got the temperance card. You'll still be waiting for this person for a little while. You need to have patience with this person if you truly want to be with this person. And they're asking you when you get the temperance card to really re-examine your priorities as to why you would want to be with this person who is a transient energy in your life, okay? So, um, Nothing is set in stone. Of course, you can actually heal the relationship, but they're indicating this is the energy that this person's going to come back on in to you in May. Okay, um, so now let's see. Uh, we've already um, discussed new Ace of Pentacles coming on in. Let's see what's in the near future. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know uh, in the near future? They want another one. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. We have lead. So we do have an emperor. We have male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. We do have someone who is mature though, coming towards you. Someone who wants to uh, have a high level commitment and looks to the future. They plan for the future. Also, we got the third eye chakra and we've got just breathe. Okay. So um, this is about building a solid foundation. They've asked me to go one more on this position, which is unusual, but I will. Um, this is about um, planning for the future. Lead. Someone who's going to sweep you off your feet. Scorpio, someone who is actually going to show you that they're invested in you right from the very beginning. Okay. Um, this is an energy of someone looking towards uh, the future with their for their happiness, and they want you by their side. Okay. They want you to lead with them. Um, now, I feel like this person is different from you but also an extension of yourself 
Uh, that's what I'm getting here. This is Aries energy here. A lot of passion here. Um, someone who... Someone you can depend on, someone who gives good advice as well to people, someone people look up to, could even be like an influencer kind of person, someone who's got their own business, perhaps entrepreneurial. Um, this person, you know, um, when they say they're going to do something, their words, their actions, they bind them. This person has a lot of respect for you when they, you meet them. Um, and also a lot of respect for uh, what they intend to do, okay? So there's an energy of trust here with this person. This is also a masculine energy of doing. This person does what they say they're going to do. They don't leave you hanging, okay? That's the energy I'm getting. Male or female, not a gender-specific reading. As I said, it's about the energy that I'm getting there. And we've got third eye chakra. They see a future with you, you see a future with them. As soon as you meet, I feel like it's a lightning bolt moment. That Wheel of Fortune indicates a surprise meeting. And also, it's something that you've been manifesting, someone that you've been manifesting. So if you've got someone on your mind that you have not had a relationship with um, and you're thinking that you would like to get to know them better, I feel like this person feels the same way about you, okay? But if you don't know who this person could be, uh, I feel like there's someone new coming on in, someone that you've manifested, someone that you've been hoping um, that actually goes the distance with you. Um, third eye chakra is wide open, okay? You just know. You just see the future with this person. Psychically, I feel like, in, and intuitively, you know, okay? Also, we got just breathe. This is the four of swords energy. This is, you know, just relax. You're in a solitary energy at the moment. You just need to relax and let the universe take care of everything, okay? Uh, there's, you know, connect to your inner self, your intuition, because those thoughts, they become things. And your higher self knows that this relationship is the one that is right for you. Stars are actually aligning to bring you what you need, okay? A counterpart, someone who is an extension of yourself. Now they asked me to go again, so I will, on this position. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please, sorry, they just said slow down, so I'm just gonna slow down. Ooh. Okay, we got well-deserved reward. Okay. Change your focus. Okay. So again, uh, the five of cups is, you know, anything that you feel like you lost or someone abandoned you or a situation uh, rejected you. Rejection is God's protection and redirection. The five of uh, cups is about um, letting that feeling of abandonment go. You know, yes, of course, grieve it in the ebb and flow of life, but let it go because there's something uh, that is uh, better for you on its way. And they want you to change your focus because if your thoughts are becoming things and you're focusing on the past, those woulda, coulda, shoulda conversations, you know, that's what's going to show up in your life or someone who matches a frequency of the same sort of people that you've been um, sort of manifesting in your life. So, for example, um, if you have been... Um, getting relationships with people who are emotionally uninvested or emotionally unavailable um, in relationships with you. Um, that's because there was something to uh, heal within yourself and uh, you got to let go of those thoughts because they actually bring people on in who match the frequency of the person that you're thinking of. Okay, so just be mindful of that. And we've got well-deserved reward. You're being raised up. Spirit knows that you've been through the ringer when it comes to, to love there. This is also the Nine of Pentacles. So this is about you um, financially, you know, living a life of financial gain. And I feel like you've got the Midas touch when it comes to uh, your career. But um, in the near future, I feel like you're about to meet somebody that is in some way connected to your work. Okay, I don't feel like you're going to work with this person. I feel like they're connected to something that you do. So they could be um, someone who uh, does a similar job to you, um, but for a different company and comes in for a meeting um, and you meet this person or um, you are going for some sort of um, course where, um, you know, maybe it's an online course or a socially distanced course and they do something similar to you. Um, I feel like you could meet this person through um, knowledge, that sort of thing. So I feel, but it is a surprise meeting, okay? Um, but they just wanted me to throw in financially, there's a lot of reward coming your way. Now, what is the advice you're giving to yourself in this moment? They just gave me the name Vicky. So if your name is Vicky, 
uh, I guess that's uh, short for Victoria. Uh, then there's something in this message for you, Vicky. Um, so uh, it could be a, a, a nickname. It could be um, a name of a person that you know who introduces you to somebody new. It could be a person that you were uh, in love with in the past. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. I mean, Vicky, Victoria, that's like victorious. Uh, so it's quite a... A celebratory kind of name there um, but moving forward what is the advice that you're giving yourself in this moment throat chakra learning to speak up and say what you want learning to unblock your throat and be ready to say what it is you need in a relationship and not just going with the flow or not just when you notice the red flags actually saying something straight away okay this is I speak okay so speaking your truth even though it shakes your voice. I feel like you're going to get an opportunity to speak to someone in the past and I really feel like there's going to be an intense conversation coming on in with that card. Let me just pull some cards on it. Thank you so much Spirit Guides, Guard Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio regarding the throat chakra? Oh, they asked for another. Okay, new start. We've got the full card. Okay, we've also got uh, the four of wands in the reverse. The person you separated from Okay, you get an opportunity to either walk away and have a complete new start away from this person or you get to have a conversation with this person uh, that will be a new start for your relationship. Okay, um, this, as you can see, it takes, it requires a leap of faith because there's something here, can you see that alligator or crocodile there? There's something a little bit scary that's presenting as a threat. Okay, you need to overcome that first in order to take this leap of faith into the new world or the, the new uh, love there. So um, you may feel like it's scary to walk away from someone who keeps coming in and out of your life. It's a pattern. Maybe you got used to it, you know, um, or, um, you know, you, you recognize that um, this person, you may have felt like you were halfway to a, a solid relationship with this person in the past and you don't want to walk away from it fully. Um, but I feel like it requires that, how can I put it? Um, having faith that anything is possible, okay? Ten of chalices in the reverse, yes. This is someone you separated from, okay? Uh, this is um, either broken, broken relationship, broken marriage. Uh, it sort of gets an injection of new uh, energy here. Um, can you tell me about new? Can you tell me about new for the throat chakra? New love? Can you tell me about new for the uh, new love for the throat chakra card as well as the old? Whoa. Okay. We have uh, nine of pentacles. Uh, you meet this person. Same energy. You, you got a choice here. You got a choice. The person in the past um, or the nine of pentacles again indicates you're going to meet this person that is connected to uh, your work in some way. You're going to be working solidly alone and fate is going to come on in and uh, sort of deliver you uh, an option. Okay, because we've got that two of pentacles there. Um, so there is going to be a choice when it comes to love. We'll go one more and then we'll move forward. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Anything more about the new person who's coming on in here for my beautiful Scorpio? Anything about the new person? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Three of Swords. The three of Swords in the reverse. So they're indicating what happens first is your person from the past comes on in to talk, and then we got movement. Depends on your choices is what I'm getting. Okay, um, the Hermit in the reverse. This is Virgo energy. Uh, this is about, um, you know, uh, not repeating the same mistakes once you've learned the lesson. Okay, um, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Again, they're indicating someone that you're not talking to. Uh, there has to be a conversation first. You won't be speaking to anybody uh, new until you have that conversation. Whether that conversation is with yourself and being really truthfully honest with yourself. Which Scorpio, I feel like you're already that. Okay. Um, but they're indicating you need to speak up for what you need. That Queen of Swords in the reverse indicates you, sometimes um, you don't speak up for what is right for you. You see the red flags, but you just, because of love, 
you may just stay a little bit silent on some things. So for example, if someone pisses you off, excuse my language, oh gosh, uh, but if someone just peeves you off there, um, you know, rather than just going silent and withdrawing from a situation, because Scorpio, I'm Scorpio, okay? Uh, that is uh, not something that we do intentionally, it's something that naturally comes. We reject it and we don't know how to deal with it. So we, have, we don't avoid it, but we just step away from it okay to really think about it okay so rather than going silent on somebody and letting them sit there and seethe and wonder what happened there um really say in that moment hey you don't treat me like that hey you do not talk to me like that okay so um do something about that in in this is like something that you may be telling yourself in this moment speaking up for what you need now what is the environment for my beautiful scorpio what is the environment now, they just give me a name, Oscar. So again, I feel like I've had the name Oscar before. It's going super cold here right now. So either your name is Oscar or uh, it's a pet name or um, it connects to you in some way. Uh, please take it as it resonates. Again, it's not going to resonate for everyone. Um, doesn't mean it's not your reading if um, it doesn't resonate for you, okay? Um, just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading. Now, what is the external environment? Okay, base chakra. Similar to uh, Taurus car, uh, energy read that I did earlier, this is about um, your foundation, okay? The circumstances are ripe for building a solid foundation with somebody, okay? Yes, passion, drive, um, and uh, all of those sort of um, wonderful energies are awesome when it comes to meeting someone new, but you need to build a solid foundation with that person. Get to know them a little bit deeper. Also, getting to know yourself deeper allows you to understand and show another person who you are okay because often people think Scorpio is a wonderful enigma a wonderful mystery and whilst that is beautiful it often leads us to be misunderstood okay so um, I feel like you're building a very solid foundation um, for yourself knowing who you are intrinsically inside and out and that shows other people uh, uh, p this potential love that's coming on in um, who you are we've also got um, the justice card number 11 okay detach so there's an energy here really looking at things uh, to find a solution as you can see detaching from any cold energy or any situation where you felt left out as you can see right there in the shadow there's like a cold winter a bare tree you're walking away from anything that does not invest in you in the same way this is the justice card basically so you're detaching yourself to find a solution to find peace okay you're also leaving it up to the universe surrendering to the universe um, to um, sort of um, allow them to intervene with karma and bring you what you need okay um, You're letting go. There's an energy here of letting go of um, your perception of what uh, you hope the outcome would be as well. But whatever decisions you make in this moment with that justice card, uh, it's like a butterfly effect, okay? It will ripple out into your future. So again, they're indicating um, you got to look at what you got uh, foundation-wise, whether you want to give someone a second chance or not, or whether you want to move through to, to find somebody new. Now, what is a hope and fear? Find balance. You're hoping to find balance in the situation. This is the Two of Pentacles, okay? You got choices. You may be weighing them up, but um, you don't want to be in confusion. Uh, you want the best opportunity for you in love. Also, when the Two of Pentacles arises, this is also about finding a balance between work and play. Um, you know, you may be investing a lot of time in your work trying to be successful, that you leave a little bit of time to find love, if any, at all, okay? Um, so just be mindful of that. Uh, they've asked me to go one more on that. Thank you so much. Uh, now, I don't know why. They're, they're just giving me hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. So either you just saw a picture of a hip hippopotamus or um, that is your, you've asked for a sign from spirit, show me a hippopotamus and then I'll know for sure I'm meant to do something. Uh, please take it as it resonates. I mean, I can't think, hippopotamus you know, that's, they, they, they love spending uh, time underneath the water to bathe um, and then come to the surface. They're often, they're very, very strong, resilient creatures, okay? Um, so I'm not really sure what they're giving me with that energy, but they're just giving me hippopotamus, okay? Uh, we got new vitality, okay? So you're hoping for, uh, this is the Ace of Wands, you're hoping for a new passion to come on in and it will bring new energy into your life and that's what's happening, okay? So definitely the circumstances are ripe for you to be um, 
meeting new love that brings peace, passion, uh, drive. The Ace of Wands is, you know, basically um, somebody new comes on in and inspires you to want to um, jump on into passion and love again. Yeah, because they're just giving me an energy that you may meet 100 people, Scorpio, in the same room, and only one person who may be right at the back, they ignite your passion. Not everybody does the same. So, um, you know, it, it's difficult for you to be interested in anyone in the first place. Uh, now, this is not an egotistical thing. Uh, so I just want to say this before I, I give it to you. Um, Scorpio, it sounds egotistical, but I'm going to say what they're giving me. Um, you have like a laser focus. You know who is right for you. You can spot a soulmate instantly, okay? So it's, it's about you choosing someone rather than them choosing you. So I feel like you're about to meet someone who ignites your passion and vitality for life again, and you choose them, okay? Uh, now, what is uh, the outcome? What is the outcome for my beautiful Scorpio? We've got new passion, new love coming on in. Now, this person may have also some Aries, Leo, or Sag in their chart, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? They're just showing me lots of confetti, Lots of confetti. So either you've just been you've just been invited to a wedding, or you've received a wedding invitation or something, or confetti is celebration. Maybe you've been invited to something to celebrate. Um, if that's you, there's something in this message for you. Okay. Uh, again, it's not going to resonate for everybody, but okay. Uh, oh, one more. They said four, and I've just taken three. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know? Uh, so far, we've got Solar Plexus Chakra. We've got um, Self Love. We've got the, the Strength card there with Control. And we've got the Moon card, Confront. Okay, so I can see why they give that to me. So we've got two eights. Double eight there, we've got an 18 and we've got a number three. So whenever you've got a Wheel of Fortune, um, a Wheel of Fortune energy um, with that flow card coming on in, there's often synchronicities. So if you've been feeling helpless and hopeless in your situation, um, the Eight of Swords is about a mindset, okay? And you have the power to change your mindset. If you believe there is no love coming for you, Scorpio, you are right because you lose the intention and the desire to open yourself up to it, okay? So just be mindful. There's obviously a few obstacles there to overcome before that happiness right in the center. But as you can see, you've got two um, staircases that lead to obstacles, and then you've got the center, which looks like a big old sand pit there. Could even be a, like a you know, sinking sand pit there. But it's about... Um, changing of the mind, the mindset, releasing yourself from denial, seeing things as they truly are. Whatever happened in, in the past was meant to uh, sort of teach you a lesson. And now if you've been uh, damaged in some way and maybe feel um, anxious about moving forward in love, you feel like there's no options. You feel like every option is blocked. They just want you to change your mindset because it's the ace, ace of swords there, okay? Um, which is often about self-imposed restrictions. But, you know, we've all been there, Scorpio. Um, if there's nothing or nobody around in terms of love, doesn't mean that there's not going to be any love. It just means the Wheel of Fortune is about to intervene and bring you the love that you need, okay? Uh, also, we have the Strength card. It says Control here. So uh, this is about your inner control, your desire um, to rise up and manifest. As you can see, this, this figure has got like a big old hat on there. Um, so there's something about, you know, your inner wisdom. It's almost like you're not allowing yourself to um, sometimes manifest because that's the crown chakra and it's being, um, you know, there's a metal like helmet on it. Uh, it's being blocked in some way. Um, perhaps this is your inner control because of your self-love. As you can see, it's about wearing your heart on your sleeve kind of energy. And, um, you know, you're finding that love for yourself, but also um, it's hard to extend it to another person because someone may have sabotaged you in the past there. Uh, I feel like there's, a, there's that rigid energy of control, okay? Um, now I'm going to pull a card on that one in particular. Uh, so 
they just gave me the name Daniel and then right after it said Wise. So either your name is actually Daniel Wise or um, that is your person's name, Daniel Wise, or maybe it's about your, your name is Daniel. Maybe you're, you're wise to someone called Daniel or something like that. I'm not sure. Please take it as it resonates. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, this is, this is um, what I was feeling. Um, so we got the full card in reverse. And when you look up the meaning of that card, the, the fall in reverse is about a cynicism. You know, you are unprepared to be single in this situation. And it's almost like you're now feeling like there's no love coming for you. So um, it's almost about investing in yourself, self-love, but also it's about controlling yourself so that you don't, uh, it's almost like you feel like there's nothing coming for you. So you don't open up to love any further than that. So just be mindful of that energy, okay? Because it may be keeping you stuck just to, to let you know. Now we've also got confront. So they want you to confront where you're controlling yourself when it comes to love, where you may have built a barrier. Um, this is the moon. As you can see, this person's confronting their uh, childhood uh, wounding. Okay, anything that may have been triggered by someone in the past, I feel like you may have dealt with someone who actually triggered those energies in you. Um, you can walk through that door and you can confront it or you can walk around it and keep avoiding it. But as you can see, um, the grass is greener where you're about to confront. If you decide to avoid, it leads to kind of barren energy, barren land in the distance there, because that means that, you know, you're not opening yourself up to healing and opening yourself up to um, new opportunities in love. And we got the solar plexus chakra. That is about um, what is about I can, okay? That is an action energy. What can you do in this situation? Already you've got the base chakra, which is about your grounding, your foundation. Who am I? What do I want? Comes next. Uh, with, um, yeah, it goes, who, what have I got? Who am I? And then it goes, what do I want? And then what can I do about it? Okay, so you may be wondering, what is it that you can do? Confront any inner demons, uh, remove the obstacles and move forward. Now, let us see, um, let's clarify that solar plexus chakra. Thank you so much, spirit guides, God, angels. Okay, so with that nine of cups in the reverse, you can't fast track this. You can't look for, um, quick results when it comes to uh, wounding we got the wood there's an abandonment issue here we got the five of pentacles here we got so we got nine of cups in reverse we got the five of pentacles in the upright and we got the four of swords so either you are abandoned in a connection and it's left you in a solitary energy that you're still sort of trying to overcome in the mind there's an energy here of having to release it. This is what needs to be confronted. This is what you can do about it. Confront those energies within you and then move forward. After my beautiful Scorpio confronts, because uh, we do have love coming on in here. We've got the High Priestess. How would you like to receive? Now we've got the world in the reverse. So they're indicating here about unfinished business with somebody. Okay. And Virgo energy as well. Um, so, uh, High Priestess, there's a secret or something you know about this person. Uh, maybe there's a deep knowing, a deep connection with you and this person in the past, and you feel like there's unfinished business or unresolved issues. Now, this could be that they triggered unresolved issues within you, um, that there's still a little bit of learning to go. Anything further before we close this reading? Oh, one more. Thank you so much. How would you like to receive? Thank you. Uh, we got the Ace of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, we've got the Knave of Chalices, we've got the Knight of Chalices, and we've got the Knave of Wands. Be very careful. You definitely have some choices here, Scorpio. Um, I'm just going to show you there. Uh, the Ace of Cups is an energy of feeling disappointed in love, okay? Let down. Um, that you have to even choose a different path when it comes to love. You dealt with someone who's very selfish in their energy, or people who always, um, you know, took your wonderful energy, did not invest in the same way in connections. And we've got um, the, the knave of chalices. So this indicates, this is the page of cups, which indicates there is new love coming on in here. You may meet this person, as I said, at some sort of course, um, a learning course, something that you love doing, something you want to learn more about. Uh, you may meet this person completely by surprise, okay? This person, uh, I feel like, is a very studious kind of energy. And someone who... Um, actually has gone through something similar to you and will not take your love for granted but you also have a choice the person um, as i said who um 
you have unfinished business with or unfinished resolved issues with. The Knight of Chalices indicates this person's got unrealistic expectations when it comes to love. They expect you to be there when they want your energy and your time, but then they just go off because we got that Knight of Wands there, transient energy, uh, player energy. Male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. But you definitely got a choice here. You got someone who wants to have a sexual fling with you and uh, someone who uh, withdrew their cup of love from you in the first place. And you've also got a new love coming on in that is wonderfully um, emotional, deep, and wants to go the distance. It will lead to a higher level of commitment, but the choice is yours. So I just tried to clarify again the energy, but they are given the same energy, which means that there is a choice, okay? So I'm gonna leave that there. I'm just going to get you a, um, thank you so much. We've got gentleness. Now, as you can see, there's a couple of doves there for peace, but also she looks like a bride, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy, but be gentle with yourself. Divine timing will be in order here. And if you want a higher level commitment, it starts with self. Uh, we've also got release. Okay. So there are things to release before you move forward um, in this, uh, in terms of love. And I'm just going to give you a wisdom of the oracle before we close. They want that. I knew it. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. We got orphans. So definitely you're dealing with energy of uh, someone who abandoned a connection here. Um, and they're also giving me this energy of um, becoming the swan. It's almost like someone who, they're giving me this energy of someone who was abandoned or something that was uh, abandoned becoming more attractive than before and I feel like this person that's why they return from the past because they can see you um, I think all the cool kids are calling it a glow up um, but I feel like you are rising as it were to overcome this but I feel like the root of it they're really giving that right at the end the root of it is some sort of abandonment that happens and it's been hovering over your energy field for a while uh, even if you got over the person in the past I'm just going to read um, the book, because I don't want to uh, tell you something wrong there. A sense of loss, an identity crisis. So I was picking up that energy right at the beginning of you losing part of yourself because of uh, what's happened to you in the past. Recognizing that you don't fit in or the need to belong. Uncertain about your place. Okay, so I'm going to read the relationship message. It says, as you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for support, but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing you what you feel you deserve. Perhaps you're drifting away from this relationship or these relationships because you're in a different stage of personal growth. Perhaps you are in a new relationship and discovering that you don't share the same values and beliefs, so you feel left out, unable to get to that intimate place of safety and belonging. Take heart as spirit knows you and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those who accept you as who you are without artifice or agenda. Don't compromise yourself to belong. It won't be worth the price. Beautiful energy. I feel like that's what um, I was picking up right at the beginning there. Thank you so much, spirit guides, bright angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? Okay, so we've got the musical notes. So that's about raising your vibrations. Okay, also um, there's an energy here of, um, it's interesting, they're just giving me a slight energy of um, someone from the past may have a third party situation going on. Just be mindful of that, okay? But I feel like it's soul song, okay? The right a uh, soul song will be matching with yours very soon. And we've also got a uh, lucky, where, where would you like this? Okay, uh, they want it on uh, Share the Love. Perhaps uh, music is in integral as well to where you meet this new person. Uh, also, we've got the lucky cat. Now, cats are very independent spirits. They do not conform. They live life on their own terms um, and often quite cautious, look before they leap kind of energy. But I feel like um, whenever I get a Wheel of Fortune, I kind of get a lucky cat, okay? So that indicates that you will be taking a leap of faith, okay, very, very soon with the right person. Um, but cats, you know, they love themselves first. That is not a selfish act. And uh, they actually want it on the Wheel of Fortune. That's why I'm mentioning it. Okay. Oh. There we go. Thank you so much. Um, 
So they're just giving me something. One moment, please. I have to really look at the image. I want to see what is it. Uh, now they're just showing me like a racket and a ball. So either you're just about to go off and play tennis or racquetball or squash or something that, uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Perhaps you've just come in from that. Uh, please take it as it resonates. Um, a racket and ball. Anyway, I will leave that there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Scorpio. Um, if something resonates in this reading, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to win a personal reading, all you have to do this time is just put the word love in the comments box below, and I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber and choose them on the 25th of May, okay? And I will do that personal reading for you then. Thank you so much, my beautiful uh, Scorpio. Just to, again, to remind you, it's free to enter, free to win, and free to receive that uh, personal reading if you win on the 25th of May. Thank you so much, and love and light.